Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the video Panure. We're looking at a 2022 KZ Connect 272 FK. You can see on the front cap the automotive type glass lets in plenty of light. Here you see the floor plan on this unit. I think you're going to be very impressed when we get inside. Note the double doors and the awning that covers both doors. We have exterior speakers. Here we see the KZ badging and the Connect badging. This RV is offered by Bourbon RV in Bourbon, Missouri. The link to their website, both new and used, are listed below as well as a phone number. As we step inside the RV, the sale price on this unit is $42,995. And let me give you some of the vitals as we spin around in the inside. You can see how wide open it is and how bright it is. Very impressive. Sleeps for two slides. The dry weight is 7,000 pounds. The length is 30 feet 11, so just under 31 feet as we open up the refrigerator and, and uh, freezer. The interior height on this is 6'6", six, six, so you have plenty of headroom inside. Here we see the cabinets and the drawer space, plenty of storage space in this unit. We also have a microwave oven, three burner cooktop, as well as an oven. Uh, on the front, I failed to mention we had a power j uh, tongue jack as well as two LP, 20 pound LP bottles, six gallon water heater. Here's the oven that I had mentioned, nice size oven, plenty large, uh, large enough for a couple pizzas at a time. So if you have a, a boys weekend or a girls weekend, you feel like having some pizza and, and uh, enjoying a campfire as we uh, open up the drawers and the storage and show all of that. The hitch weight is 880 pounds, gross weight is 9240, and the dry weight, as I mentioned, is 7,000 pounds. So that gives you a storage of 2650. Here's your stainless steel farmer sink with your swan neck faucet and your removable or uh, dispatchable spray head. Kind of a, resident, or a restaurant style faucet. I used to work in a restaurant as a uh, dishwasher, and that was the same kind of setup we had. Very handy, easy to use, and very effective on cleaning dishes and cleaning up. As far as your uh, tanks are concerned, your fresh gray and black are 45, 64 on the gray, and then 32 on the black. As we take a look at the dinette area, so underneath the dining seats, you have these doors and then you have these tubs, which really makes it convenient. You put the items in the tubs and then you can extract the tub very easily. This is really a nice matte finish, very durable and easy to keep clean. So it's not like carpet, it's a, uh, it's a easy to clean surface. And then check out the controllers on your theater seating and then your USB ports on top. Most of the chairs have them on the sides these are on the top. Is that something you would like? Also, the fold-down armrest. What are your thoughts on that? Leave a comment below and uh, let us know what your th thoughts are. As we open up the uh, pantry, plenty of storage, plenty of uh, high height on the uh, storage so you can fit your cereal boxes and other large items in there easily. Fireplace with a 30-inch screen on that. Additional storage for games, DVDs, or video games. And then you have your entertainment system with your USB port and a flat screen TV. Then in your bathroom, your bathroom is just off the family room and just off the uh, master bedroom and your second door. So you have that back door. They can, guests or uh Little ones, or anyone for that matter, can come in the back door and right into the bathroom, so it's very convenient. Radius shower, so the shower doors are on a quarter circle and slide right in, so it's very convenient. Nice size shower with a sunroof, skylight rather, I should say, that uh, gives you additional height, additional storage space in there as well. And then the king size bed really expands this bedroom. And then again, as I mentioned earlier, there's the back door. We have a bank of drawers, mirror, 
And then look at the storage underneath. It goes way up to the headboard so you can uh, access it from the outside as well as the inside. And then you have your bank of uh, drawers as well as a additional cabinet space as well as a mirror. So uh, really nicely appointed master bedroom. Perfect place for a flat screen TV. It's pre-wired for that. And then you have your wardrobe, his and her wardrobes. I failed to mention that the capacity on the refrigerator is an eight cubic foot refrigerator. So it's a perfect size for boondocking as long as you have a backup generator or this RV is pre-wired for solar. So you install solar panels and you're good to go on boondocking. You can see your platforms on both left and right side of the, the bed for plugging in a CPAP machine or charging your cell phones. The AC unit is a 13,500 BTU AC unit, six gallon water heater, gas and electric. What are your thoughts on this open floor plan? Would you go boondocking primarily, or do you like to hook up at a campsite? 